Corrosion protection can be confusing. In this video, I'll share with you the DIPRA design decision model to help navigate those waters. Hi, I'm John Johnson, regional engineer from McWayne Ductile. In this video, I'll share with you how DIPRA and Corporo work together to combine 75 years worth of experience in order to develop the design decision model. The DDM is a two-dimensional matrix that takes into consideration the consequences of a site and differentiates between a distribution main and a transmission main. The consequences access takes into consideration the diameter of the pipe, the location of it, whether it's near an environmentally sensitive area or an urban area. It also takes in consideration whether it's a deep area application or whether there's alternate sources of water supply available. The likelihood uh, factors takes into consideration the resistivity level of the soils, the pH levels, the redox levels, to name a few. Once we have a chance to total the consequences level and then look at the likelihood factor total, we're going to come to a point on the matrix that's going to be within one of the color-coded areas. And those color-coded areas uh, correspond to the recommendation levels below on the chart. Once we get past the 20-point section, we look at adding additional levels of corrosion protection. Those could be, include using V-Bio, using V-Bio and zinc, bonding the joints, or using full cathodic protection in severely corrosive environments. If you'd like to learn more about corrosion protection or download your own copy of the DDM, check the links below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, work hard, work smart, and work safe.